And who wants to admit that? Who wants to admit that they've been running around making money and getting money with a bunch of sexual harassing fraud ass niggas? Who wants to admit that? Nobody wants to admit that. I didn't want to admit it. Almost drank myself to death trying to forget it. Your lies is too heavy for me to hold. So anybody that's got some lies that you've been running on, that's fine. You can run on it. That don't mean I got to run on it. What you eat don't make me. Ah. Where that button at? <laughs> and if you don't want diarrhea, stop eating bad food. Mm. You don't want to run, run around with your stomach all messed up? I don't know. Eat a vegetable or something. Get it together. I'm doing what I'm doing. Somebody asked me, Jay, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this this way? Why are you doing it like that? Because it has to be done. Somebody got to speak on it. When, when did we get so soft that we're afraid to tell the truth? Mm -hmm. My aunties and them always used to say, call a spade a spade. What I'm going to do, call it a club to make it feel better? <laughs> play them cards, Jay. You got what you got in your hand. You play it. You deal it. It gets dealt to you, you play the hand, but you play it honest. I, I guarantee you, if you go smart, if you go smart from day one, see, I'm getting passionate up in here. If you go smart from day one, you'll realize that the truth is your only real friend. Why y'all niggas want to lie? Why y'all roots niggas keep sending people, keep sending people to talk to me, asking me how much money it's going to take to shut me up? You ain't got enough money. Trust me, my price is way too high. I do not intend to cut it. You used people. Honey, pull up the pictures. Pull up the picture. I'm going to show y'all niggas why I'm doing what I'm doing. See, I keep telling people I've been putting money in these streets for years. Y'all thought I was doing nothing. <laughs> y'all thought I was just kicking it, huh? Like I always say about G, you ain't supposed to see it till it's meant for you to see. This right here, you look at that, I want y'all to look at that right there. You see that? The Philadelphia skyline is in the background and I'm holding something in my hand. It is a Grammy Award. It is a Heroes Award and it is addressed to Malik B. It was presented in 2004 and he never saw it, not once while he was living. He never saw it. He never saw this. I'm holding his award for him. In the streets of Philadelphia. How did I get it? How did I get it? It was supposed to be given to him. I know other people got theirs. His, his, his bandmates. You want to ask me about why I wasn't at the funeral? Because I'm digging up all your dirt, nigga. They threw dirt on my brother. I'm digging up dirt. I'm digging up the roots. Why do I got Malik's award? You ask me why I wasn't at the funeral? Ask me why I got Malik's award. That was presented by the Narish chapter of the Grammy office. Why do I got it? You want to ask me why I wasn't at the funeral? Why didn't you take that award out the box that it sat in for 16 years? Like a piece of trash. It's a Grammy award. The Heroes Award. Look at this. You look at this. You see the silly. You see the Philly. You look at that. You look at that. Pass it around. Why wasn't at the funeral? Why wasn't that award at the funeral? Absolutely. Why wasn't that award given to his mother at the funeral? Keep talking, Dice. Keep talking. Keep calling me a liar. Talk heavy, nigga. Why do I got Malik B's Grammy Hero Award from the Philadelphia chapter and ain't nobody know it exists? I got people everywhere digging up all your shit. Don't call me now, Ingrid. Call them since they asking you to call me and tell me to stop, Ingrid. Much I done for you, Ingrid? How many free shows did I do for you, Ingrid, helping you promote your brand? Don't be mad at me because you didn't know Reek was fucking me either. Like he was fucking you. You want to call? Pull up. I 
ain't playing games with y'all niggas. I should not have Malik B's ward, but I do. And it is evidence of how malicious and nasty you are. You won't even give him his props in death. That's all right. There's a, there's a lot of people working together. See, this is what I love about this moment. Y'all niggas have messed over so many people, you forgot how many people you messed over. But they remember me. See, they come talk to me. I've been talking to a lot of people. Whole lot of people remember a whole lot of things. Shout out to my boy Joey Zaza. I know it wasn't you that tossed up Jill's house. Joey Zaza didn't um, rob Jill, uh, uh, maybe maybe of her dignity, but that's the only thing he might have robbed of. It was the other niggas that she was fucking. I promised Joey I would address that because people calling him, "Damn, you robbed Jill and got her kicked out of Hollywood." No, I. If that was that part, wasn't Joey. Love you, Zaza. <laughs> That part was the other niggas, you know, the other boyfriends that she hired and came yeah, on yeah. to sleep with. All the and somebody and some and somebody said to me, somebody, wait, 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 no, this is so funny though. This was so funny though, right? Somebody said to me, Jill gonna kill you. Ooh, Jill gonna kill you. I wish a bitch would. You in Tennessee? I gotta roll through Tennessee on my way back. I I can pull up to your house. Ask Inga Marshawn what it's like when I pull up. Ask Inga Marshawn what it's like if she can hear you with her deaf ass. <laughs> Foxy fucking nothing. The button is not enough. You hear me? Come on, Jill. You can pull up. I can remind you what North Philly feels like. North Philly. See, you done, you done, you done, you done went to Hollywood. You done went here. You done went there. You so special. And those places don't even want you no more. They don't even want you. Remember what I told you, Jill, when we stopped being friends after I found out you got me blocked from the Sugar Water Festival because you was afraid that I would be the media darling and not you and you went behind my back and divisively stole my band, including Adam Blackstone. Shout out to Adam Blackstone. You're welcome for your future, nigga. You ain't call me either when Giovanni died and you played with Giovanni. I hope you're enjoying the voice. Don't be mad. UPS is hiring. I got shit for everybody. You want to see me, Jill? You mad about what I'm saying like it ain't the truth? Let me get you good and mad. Let me tell the story about when you was trying to get pregnant by your first husband and the nigga didn't want to. Said you couldn't have his baby because he couldn't trust you with animals, let alone his child. We told y'all we bring the heat. You hear me? You remember that story because you came crying to me about it. Remember, Jill? Remember? <laughs> You know me. You know me. Once again, on heat I'm liable to do anything when it comes to that. You owe me. You owe me, bitch. Mm. Bitch, you owe me. And you better have my money when I come for that shit like OBD on my worst fucking behavior, ho. All the shit I wrote for you. All the shit I arranged for you. I never asked you for a dime. I just wanted you to shine because you were supposed to be my friend. All you wanted to do was be me. You were nothing but a fucking insurgent. Mm. Working for a goddamn fucking wrecking crew of a fuck. Oh, man. Watch your back management. They didn't watch your back. That was a warning to watch your own back. Fucking with them. Sean G, I'm going to find them books. I'm going to get your books, baby. See, it's the COVID time and the, and the country ain't doing so well. They looking for all the tax money in the world. I'm going to tell y'all where y'all can go and probably get about two, three million of good taxes out of Sean G ass. Don't be mad. UPS is hiring. I'm fucking hip-hop all day. Been hip-hop all day. Come see me. I'm on the road. I come to you. Who knows where I'll pop up next. And people ask me, why y'all going after they boss? Why y'all going after Jimmy Fallon? Because the more pressure I put on Fallon, the more pressure I put on NBC. I ain't playing checkers. I'm playing chess. Some of the comments said they thought that you and Jill were tight. Yeah, we were. We were best friends. We were best friends. So ask me why my best friend likes to go around and fuck every nigga I've been with. You fucking goofy hoe. Whoa. How many times did you have to take penicillin with your fucking vitamins, bitch, while you was at Central High? 
How many stories did I cover for you? How many lies did I tell for you when you were sitting there running around on your husband singing, he loves me and fucking everything else, you bitch? You're ungrateful, Jill. You are ungrateful. But you're going to learn. You forgot what Philly like? I came back home to show you. Mm. Guess you've been out there in La La Land too long. <laughs> you and Erica, that bitch dead too. I killed her in her own fucking backyard. I ain't from Dallas, but I live there now. It's my home. My husband is from Oak Cliff. I claim it. And Erica Badu did everything she could do to try to divisively stop me from freeing these people from her plantation. Well, it's too late now, baby. You should have tried to be my friend. You should have really tried to be a friend. Now go on ahead and keep pining for I Andre 3000. Keep pining away for the love you fucked up probably being a hoe. All the shit y'all bitches done talked and done. All, all the people y'all done screwed over. There's a reckoning. I'm the wrecking ball. Come see me. Come see me if you want. But I promise you. This ain't what you want. But you can get it. They want to know how did you and Erica get bad blood? Because she was jealous of me. She always been jealous of me. She jealous with anybody that got talent. She jealous of anybody. I'm going to call you cuz. I'm going to call you. She jealous of everybody. She was jealous of Jill too. So how did it make you feel when her and Jill did the uh, Zoom I laughed. I thought the shit was funny. Y'all sitting here trying to get people to continue to keep streaming your new whack shit off of old shit that you done 20 years ago. You ain't, and neither one of them have evolved. That's why I said it's real simple. Y'all want to do a real versus? Y'all put all of y'all hits against all of my unreleased records. Mm. See, when K. Michelle was running her mouth a few years ago, I had to set that ass straight too. Mm. Now you sitting here, boo. You sitting here going back and forth to the doctor, all them flesh-eating disease from fucking your body up and convincing all those kids that they needed to look like you. Didn't I, didn't I handle her a couple years back? Y'all keep forgetting how I handle up on niggas. Y'all keep forgetting. North Philly. Richard Allen Mafia, stand up! They want to know, why was your music not released? I don't know. Why was my first album um, not submitted for a Grammy? Because the Roots decided that that, that 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 our camp didn't need to split the votes. So their, their shit went up and, and my shit didn't. My first album would have got Grammys. We would have got statues. But you know what? It's not too late. Uh -huh. See, it's never been submitted. And it has been released. Which makes it eligible for submission. I don't know. Maybe I'll start there. Maybe, maybe I'll go back and collect what I'm owed. But I am holding on to a Grammy Award right now that doesn't belong to me. I got that award. It came from out the trash. It came from out the fucking trash. Wow. Malik B's Grammy Award was hidden in an office somewhere. I don't even know who brought it to me. It, it, it was dropped. Somebody asked me where I was and they dropped it off anonymously. I didn't even see the person that did it, but that's how that's how that's how deep the loyalty go with with old Jag. See, somebody said Malik told me to give this to you. <laughs> oh, I feel I almost feel bad for you niggas. Stop claiming Philly. You're not Philadelphians. Not real Philadelphians. Stop claiming Philly. Cause you ain't you ain't bout Philly, not for real for real. You bout New York, you bout L.A., you bout all them other places where you trying to get popular and famous. I never understood niggas that had so much gift and so much talent and so much ability still thirsty for other people's attention. Go get you some water. You seem a little parched. In the deserts of your life. Praying for a drop of rain. I promise you. I'm going to take you through the fucking Sahara. And leave you right on the equator. Mm. I make it hot. Niggas won't even stand next to you. 
Nigga, touch me, you better bust me three times in the head. Biggie Smalls, circa 1995. I'm hip-hop. I'll fucking read your ass for filth. I'll make your mama scatter with the shit I got to say about you. Keep fucking with me. See what happened. Keep threatening me behind the scenes. Keep sending people, making messengers out of everybody, asking me how much money I want to shut up. Let me see. I don't think they've invented a figure that high yet. And I know y'all ain't got it. They ain't got no major figures. I know they ain't got no major <laughs> figures. Shout out to Ab Lava. <laughs> Shout out to Ab Lava. I miss no my baby figures. ass. So. I miss the ciphers, man. Oh. I miss the ciphers. Well, hopefully before, hopefully before we get <laughs> off the air. Yeah, um, I know because I know we run it tight. You and Dutch do something together. Um, we want to address the uh, common situation. Sure. What about common? Elaborate. I mean, what, what y'all want to know about common? I didn't say everything. I didn't say the boy sexually assaulted me. I said he tried to stick his dick in my mouth while I was asleep. I smacked him in the nuts and I rolled out. Took a gypsy cab. Whoa. That's what happened. That's what happened with Common. Hi, Tiffany Haddish. I'm praying for you. Every other every other real bitch done left that motherfucker. I'm sure you will soon. Oh, Serena Williams. She she fucking she went in she cashed all the way in. So to Carrie Washington, I don't know what happened to Wendy Goldstein. He was with Wendy Goldstein for a while after Erica heard his feelings when she got pregnant by the DOC and ain't nobody know she was fucking him. Mm. <laughs> Southside, shout out to Southside or Lamar, <laughs> keeping it hot in the streets of Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I make it hot, boy. I tell you. When y'all mess with somebody from Philly, y'all you guys to know we come real. Like Philly don't play no games, and we just saw y'all right now. And now, and now, and 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 Talib want to get out on the Twitter, and Dice Roll want to get out on the Twitter and say Jaguar's a liar. Tell, tell me to my face. I drove fifteen hundred miles. Mm. You you can't come a couple blocks. <laughs> you were definitely on Hunter Park chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, UNLV, shout out to UNLV, United, no, Lo, uh, United Niggas of Logan Valley, shout out to Champ, a.k.a. Ruggedness, yeah, uh, keeping it hot in the street, shout out to Larry Lair, mm -hmm. shout out to Ram Squad, shout, shout, out, to, shout out to 100X, shout out to, to, to my big brother Lee. Oh, let me call you, know, I'm about to call, yeah. call Lee. Call Lee, I, tell Ellie him I wanted to see him. The smooth. There it is. Ooh. We made we we made miracles happen down there fifteenth and Fairmount when Rashid built that facility. We was up in there twenty four seven getting it in. And, and and Joe Black, you remember Joe Black from Black Street? That's um me and that nigga got into it, man. When he stole my Donna Karans off my face while I was asleep. That nigga Fairmount. straight took my glass. Fifteenth and Fairmount. Club right there? No, it it was a studio. The studio. It was a studio right, right the there. Top next to the garage, mm -hmm. right? Rashid built that. It's actually right there. Um, it's a city the whole garage. garage. The yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we was there 24-7. Joe Black, I'm sitting up in there taking naps in between writing verses and he in there doing it. Next thing I know, they said, yeah, we seen Joe with your glasses on. He said, you loaned him to him. I was like, nigga, I was asleep. <laughs> no, it was a guy named Ron Sylvester that used to come in there and try to play guitar. <laughs> he said, yes, I, I'm Ron Sylvester. Said, Ain't nobody oh. pulled up. <laughs> Ain't nobody Ron pulling Sylvester. up on me. I wish. I wish they would. Give me a reason. Give me a reason to be North Philly. Don't give me a reason, please. Give me a reason. So, so Jack, we know. Oh, and to that punk ass um parking authority dude who tagged up my car last night when I just stopped to get my manager a steak at Gems. The, 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 the parking said the parking said. What was parking authority doing out last night? What time was this? It was like eight o'clock. What was they doing out that that night? It was bro? like eight o'clock. That was a cop. Listen, man, it wasn't no cop. I seen the boy because I ran down on the other chick. She was like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the boy. He worked that side and I'm like. <laughs> when I see you, when I see you, Point Dexter, I'm going to show you what you can do with that ticket. Because you know I wasn't there over the limit. I had only been there for 20 minutes. It was three hour parking. How I get a ticket? Three hour parking in 20 minutes. Fight. I ain't fighting nothing. I'm going to fight him. I want the next episode of Parking Wars. What was that? Wasn't that the PPA show that uh six feet yet six My nine head? Yeah. My dad was on I want the next episode. I'm looking for that check, yo. He ran up on my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he ran up on my 
dad gave my dad a ticket. He outside with draws. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm a veteran. I don't. I, I said, Dad, they, they don't care about you getting no veterans over here. Oh man, yeah. My, look, look. So Jack, can I ask you a question? Show, what's I know, up? I know. Um, the me personally, I yeah. know the severity of everything that you're talking about, man. And you know, I, 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 I know. You know the game. I know you. You know me too. I know you. I know that you stand for something. Yeah. And where where did like I know Malik situation. That was enough. That was just enough is enough. So that's what tipped you to the point where it's like Malik B and Flo Brown, I'm gonna tell you when it all kicked off for me. When Flo Brown's best friend hit me up on Instagram and she said, uh I was Flo's best friend. And um, last time I seen her, she was going out to L.A. to try again with the music. And um, that's when she said to me uh, um, that Flo Brown had disclosed to her and Malik. And Malik was the only person from the crew that held her down. What is that coming from? I don't know, but it's hot though. That's my that's my jam. <laughs> yeah, this is, hey, uh, hey. What, secret! I've been oh. secrets holding for years. Listen, you burst it into tears. I did. This is prophetic. I don't know how to use that. Well, all right, the bullshit begins here. We got back. The effect music right is now. unclear. No, it's clear, nigga. No, you know what's so After twenty years, it's clear. Music. Wow. These is his words. Huh? With no signs of air. Kicking the snare. This is crazy, you know. And you got a right to be. Because if somebody had done that shit to me, I mean, my best man hitting my wife to be. Uh Yeah, nigga. Uh (laughs) Never do what they do. What they do. (laughs) I'm going to whip you with your own fucking lyrics, yo, and the truth. I don't need shit. I ain't got to put hands on you. Yeah, and it, it, it was exactly what you needed this and what you wanted. A this, lot. This is this you wanted that thing and you needed that thing a lot. <laughs> it's the Did truth. You hear what's going on in the background? Of the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. The same characters in the books with different names. It's a lot more to lose <laughs> than you got to gain. It's a <laughs> To the game. <laughs> when I I'm tell a, y'all, I'm keep I don't even want to go to work. Ass with the I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I don't even want to go to my shop today because uh, Jay got it hot. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that some lies are hard to swallow from the bitter taste. You said to Mo, make. Mo, what, what's the next and, line? And, and, you know True feelings, <laughs> underhand dealings. I lost trust. I wonder if we lost us. It's bigger than me and you. What's my stress? You're absolutely right. The future of hip hop, especially Philadelphia hip hop, is monstrous. And we rewrite the history, we rewrite the legacy by getting Malik B's legacy right. And then writing the wrong that was done to Flo Brown, who came here and trusted us with a future and left with nothing but a horror story. Hmm. If we could only flash back and undo our actions. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, nigga, I think you need to sit down and have you a talk with Jesus. Mm. <laughs> because you, 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 th- this was 20 years ago. We recorded this record in 1999. Mm. And you was talking, you ain't even know you was talking about yourself, did you? You had no idea you was talking about yourself, Reek. You that nigga. You that nigga. You that, you that, I'm a fuck your girl behind your back, nigga. You that nigga. Laid up with me and then go and get discounted polos from my ex-husband while you talk shit to him to try to gaslight his ass. I'ma handle that. And I couldn't even get a letter. I couldn't get a pack of ramen. I couldn't get no summer sausage. Nothing. I'm sitting up in the county jail. You couldn't send me nothing. I mean, you ain't sending me or nothing, and he made you famous, so fuck it. And he on, he, he on death row. They said he, he in death row on gym pop. Amir, why don't you send him some of them sandwiches you be smelling like? Oh, God. <laughs> put something on his book. Maybe some of them oils that Malik put you on to. You fucking asshole. Y'all, y'all, keep, sending, y'all keep sending people for me. I'm going to tell you just like I told somebody else yesterday. I'm doing God's work. 
I might have North Philly all up in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I know, I try. I try. I work. But I'm passionate. It comes out how it comes out. You don't like my mouth? That's fine. Pray for my mouth. But support my stand. You hear me? Pray for my mouth. And support my stand. It's just that simple. What we gonna do? We gonna sit around and keep question. and keep letting lies write history. We gonna get this shit right. Question. Yeah. Be, uh, question from uh, Angela Smith. She says, "Being as though it's been twenty years now, do you feel that Common will ever apologize for Zilla's actions against you?" Well, Lonnie's been lying for so long. You know, when you start pushing a lie, you gotta keep pushing that lie. See, because if you if you stop, then you have to go back and look at all the time you wasted pushing that lie. See, and then you have to deal with yourself. People that have no integrity and have no accountability, they, they got to keep pushing that lie, see. So, I mean, I would urge Lonnie to just stop you, lying. But would you accept the apology? Absolutely. I'm a Christian. I've already forgiven him. That's why I haven't, I never did nothing wrong to him. But see, when we get to the point where 20 years later, we're still disrespecting people that helped make it possible for you to be what you were. The only reason Common worked with the Roots was because the, the Roots, they were so-called conscious, but they had that street edge. None of these niggas had the street edge except for Malik. The only reason real, real niggas listened to the Roots album was to hear what Malik was going to spit. So how the hell would they have made it to things fall apart and you got me in the Grammy without that? And see, Erica and Jill and Common and Talib and all these niggas. They profited from that by association, see. So for you to not pay homage to Malik B and say thank you for helping create the legacy that we hold down today. This is what I asked them for. I'm going to tell y'all what I asked the Roots for. Do a cypher. Actually do a real hip-hop 101 on the Fallon Show in honor of Malik B and everybody spit one of Malik's verses. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That would have done it. Heavy. Heavy. So do you feel, though, Jaguar, that it was it was the death of Malik B that... Has Hell not, yeah. That not, has, not just given you the courage, but has pretty much put the stamp on, I'm not going to be quiet anymore. The heat. Well, see, that's the thing. I didn't intend to start, you know, I, I'm doing my documentary. Digging up the roots or my life and experience with the roots. It started before Malik's death. It started before Malik's death. But when I seen that post that Amir put up about them fucking oils. And he was, and Malik was my oil guru. And I would hit him up 911 uh, before I went out on a date. Dating who? Who the fuck dates you? Bitches use you. The ones you love and the ones that love you, you treat like shit. I'm sorry for breaking up with you for him, Maria. That was one of the worst moments of my life. A grown ass man sending me to break up with his girlfriend. And the, and the woman loved him. She loved him. That button got a good. We got to get a new button. <laughs> a, upgraded button. We going to put. Grown Jack ass man, you can't break up with your own girlfriend. Jack, can you? Jack, can you? I ain't number five foot five. I was about 145, 150 pounds. I'm 165 pounds now. Why is y'all leaning on me like I'm a mountain? Or maybe I am. Maybe I am a mountain. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas lean too much. Maybe it's time to just let you hit that tipping point. See, well, me, well, that's one of your album titles, right? The tipping apart. point. Uh, uh, Things fall apart. <laughs> they surely fucking do. Jack, me being a part of our history. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, we, we are part of a, a very, very small community of people. Yes, we are. And, and Philly, hip-hop, and, and what we do. Um, I know a lot of the struggles that you went through just being one of the first, like, really stern females in the game. It's hard because... <laughs> You had to go through a lot. I re like I remember, and we not even gonna break. You remember when I lived? You remember? You remember my the apartment, Fourth yeah, and Catherine? Yes, I do. I remember you coming from Fourth and Catherine from punching somebody in their mouth. Too. Yep. I don't, I don't remember who it was. But yep. I know that they tried to violate you. Yeah. And you punched someone in the mouth. Yep. Um, and said, "Nigga, I've been waiting on you all day. Let's go." Right. And you always had that 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 standpoint. Um. I've always been the first at the charge. The, the last two years. Where I come from, you hook off or you get hooked off on. Right. 
last two years I spent time with Malik. I know. Right? I heard. And, and me and Malik were, I was like trying to just keep him in great spirits because he was in a lot of pain. Pull that picture up again. People don't understand that he's, he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, he and, was. And I used to talk to Malik and I used to be like, well, bro, you know, I'm here for you. Like, let's, if you want to go overseas, I'll go with you. Let's just leave this place and get away. And I'm he was like, he was like, he was like, that you'll really go with me? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go with you, bro. Because, you know, not only are you a mentor for me, you're my big brother. You know what I'm saying? You are my big brother. And I was, it's crazy because I even reached out to Reek and said, you know, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm just taking it one day at a time. And, you know, he did respond to me. I'm like, sure he is taking it one day at a time. He has a lot to be regretful for. Malik B's Grammy that he was never able to receive. That he never saw while he was alive. You, you have it with you? It's mm -hmm. Look, my husband got the picture. I'm wearing the same clothes I'm wearing right now. Oh my God. Just so oh people will know how close oh, proximity I, I am to that award. I gotta, I gotta show this. Oh my God. This Malik has Malik never saw that award. It was said, don't give it to him because he's gonna sell it for drugs. Wow. That's what it was said. Don't tell him about it. He'll just take it and sell it for drugs. Now, after everything you just told me, would Malik have done that with that award? He would have took it to his mother's house, if anything. First of all, Malik, Malik what, what people don't understand is Malik was very, very, very smart. So Malik got most of the money that he was supposed to get. Like, he was still fighting for money. He was still fighting. He's owed a lot more than yeah, he, he knows. Yeah, he was still fighting for money. I know that because being around him day to day, and he used to be like... Uh, Why should another, he have had to fight for money? They put him and Hub on the lesser company, on the grand niggas, you. on the grand niggas. They put them on the lesser company. You see? Him and Hub. To collect less. I am telling you right now. His intellectual properties, from the properties that were, that were published under his name and the properties that were stolen from him and used for other albums that he was not allowed to promote or knew about because he was high when he did it. I'm telling you right now, they owe they they owe his mom like at least six million. They owe her at least six million. They owe Mother Bassett six million. Oh well, you don't know his mom like that. I don't have to know his mom like that. She lost the son. I lost the son. That's all we need to know. How are you dealing with that? I know that when that happened, and and, and shout out to everyone um, that did contact me again. Those who, who definitely know that, that Jag and I have been very close over the years. We don't have to talk every day, but that's my sister. Right I don't talk every day. I, I talk to too many people to talk to everybody every day. I, in, in, in a normal month, I do. I talk to at least 500 people a month. How the fuck do I got time to talk to everybody every day? Right. And um, they was like, uh, can you get your sister? <laughs> and one thing that I know about my sister is when she starts speaking, the first thing is that she speaks fat. She's not going to speak it unless it's fat. Second, if you do call in and you try to come for her, please come correct because um, I want you to come. Yeah, that's, that's just I want you to come. Yeah, your ass ain't your ass ain't nothing questions. but no, no, no. Come, you, please come with the shits. Please come with the shits. Please, please come with the shits. I had nothing but time in jail to think of all of the fucked up questions I would be asked so I could answer them accurately. <laughs> please come with the shits so I saw all that practice is for nothing. Ain't for nothing. I practiced him while I was in jail. I practiced waiting for all of y'all niggas. Please come with Please the Please come with the shits. I got it for you. I got that emodium. A quick intermission. Um, in, in, the AD, the emodium. No, but I'm not going to go off air. What I want to say to my sister is congratulations on your new marriage. Um, and I want to, if I'm able to, to ask a question Please. to husband. Please, talk, um, to, uh, talk to the husband. Talk to the major. Now, you being from Dallas, which is Philadelphia. Yes, ma'am. Um, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Did you know who Jaguar was when we first met her? Because um, she knows this. When I moved to Texas, we were in East Elm. I, we were in Deep Elm. Yeah, 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 we were in Deep Elm. And your ass was in Plano, and I was all the way down in DeSoto. Right. We're but we took club. that ride. Wait, but we're in this club yep. in Deep Elm. We mm -hmm. was at uh, Three Links. All right. And she was at Three Links. Yep. She <laughs> walks by me, and I'm like, no way possible. Right. And she comes from the bathroom, and I and I still said, no way possible. <laughs> so then she goes, and she's standing at the bar, and I'm still sitting here. Everybody that's with me is like, what's My son was there that night. Giovanni right. was there that night. Everybody's like, what is wrong with you? 
I'm, y'all don't understand. I think I'm having deja vu or something. I couldn't believe it myself. I am in Deep Ellum, Texas, right? And I just, you know what? Forget that. I'm gonna walk over here. Right. I walk over. I tap this lady on the shoulder. She turns around. It's Jag. We hugged like 10, 15. We could not believe. Like, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. But like I said, that we've always <laughs> had since we met this this bond. And like yep. I said, you speak so well, and the love and passion that you have for friends and family goes very, very deep. Um, your spirituality goes very, very deep. So for you new hubby did you know that that was jaguar right when you first met her no i didn't did you know so you ain't know what you was getting yourself into i just seen a godly woman there you go and i knew that i had to have a godly woman by my side there you go there you go talk that talk bro it's true talk that talk that's what's up. We don't lie to each other. All men, go get you a godly woman. I'm telling go you. Get you a woman. Get you a godly go, go get you a godly, godly woman. woman. I'm not just a woman. Up. I'm putting that up for the mm-hmm. post all day. A godly woman. So when you found out mm-hmm. um, a lot that one because she's held in so much for so many years. Right. So I'm pretty sure that once the comfortability level and the trust level got there, she started to open up to you. Yes. What were your thoughts at that moment? Were you were you scared? Did you think, oh, maybe I, I shouldn't stay godly or not like this? this is a lot. <laughs> I, I seen it was a lot. I'm a soldier. I'm a veteran as well. Okay. And I had to go through some tough times. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, you know, even though she told me everything, I felt it. And I know I had to stand up beside her. Who else is going to stand beside her but a strong man? Right, absolutely. So I had to be there for her. And through, through the times, whatever, comfort her, get her back on her feet. Yes, everything. I'm a Christian and godly woman calling people hoes because a hoe is a hoe. It's saying in the Bible they talk about the woman that was loose. Woman, thou art loose. What do you think that loose means? It means hope. We cannot make this up. Now y'all. Don't don't come for me. Don't come for me with your fake Christian. See, I see mm. so there are some people that are religious. Right. And then there are some people that are traditional. Right. See, there's a difference between being a traditionalist and being a Christian. See? You understand what I'm saying? Let me let me keep it a bean with you. Be because open. Peter was a disciple. Peter Peter was one of God's greatest disciples, and he right. cussed niggas out on a regular. Right. And he said he walked with Jesus. Right. You better than Jesus? <laughs> a godly woman that's that's calling people hoes. Yup. You probably a hoe. That's why you got a problem with it. <laughs> woman, thou art loose. I hope y'all are listening to the Heat Radio today. Woman, thou art loose. <laughs> woman, thou take thou your loose. hoe ass somewhere. <laughs> Clean it up. I'm gonna need everybody to dial 215. I'm sorry, yeah, let me give it back to my husband. Don't, don't open the blinds. <laughs> don't open the blinds. Don't open the blinds. <laughs> and make sure, like she said, y'all come with the ish. <laughs> Do not open the blinds. <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> um, okay, while, while Jack is gathering her thoughts, Again, the kid Dillard is live in the studio with us as yeah. well. You done, baby? I'm, I'm sorry, because I I'm messed good. you up, baby. No, you I, good. Just, <laughs> I just you good. Me, when I see people playing with the Lord. I see. I already know. Playing with the like I said, you you don't like it. Pray for my mouth and support my stand. <laughs> Everything I'm doing, God told me to do. He didn't say, Don't curse, Jag. He said, Tell the whole truth. And nothing but the truth and spare no one. That's what God said to me. You got a problem with that? Take it up with him. He didn't say, and make sure you don't curse. Make sure you don't yeah, you don't get call. too emotional. Hello. Shoot, Jesus was sitting there lying down asleep and and and, 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 and the, um the, the heat came for him, right? The heat came for him. And what it what, what, what wasn't it Peter right, that jumped up with his sword and cut that nigga ear off? Jack, we have a caller. Caller state And he rolled with Jesus, cut niggas ears off. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Say your name and where you calling from? My name is Chris, aka Chris 215. I'm just calling to speak to Jack and have a bit of Who this? She hears you. Yes, how you doing, Jack? Who this? Who this? What's your name? It's Chris. Chris from where? Oh, wow. How you doing, boo? Drew, it's closed, I heard. Yes, I was still in the end, though, but last time I mean, you, and you see these other talking, and finish together in the back. Yeah, yeah, listen to me, we always busted up. You know I, you, you know we was always out there. God, I miss my Druid crew. How's everybody doing? Can you hear me, Uh-huh. 
Um, yes, I, yes, I can. Well, do me a favor. Hit me up. Hit me up in the DM. Hit me up in she the said, DM. Hit her up in the DM. We gotta take another call. I'm gonna be in the streets DM. tonight. I'm I'm gonna be in the streets tonight right. in South Philly. All right. Let's get up. Call the state your name. Where you calling from? Call your live on Heat 100. Say it again. Morgan from Philly. What's up, Morgan from Philly? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? You're live on air. I don't know where Flo Brown is. I'm trying to find her. Somebody need to find Flo Brown. Morgan, do you have a question for, for, for Jag? Yeah. Hey, What's up? You remember saying happy birthday to me? I sang happy birthday to a lot of people. You got to give me specifics. It's Morgan, Jag. Light skin, green eye Morgan. Paramedic Morgan. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, what's up? Happy birthday to you. What's going on, nigga? <laughs> I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm up. You know me. I keep it a bean. I keep it a bean. That's the best place to keep it a bean. Heat 100. Bring the heat. I'm going to be out. Who said F. Flo Brown? Swaggy C No I'm, I'm on the live And somebody said F Flo Brown I dare you to say that To Flo Face Alright Morgan Thank you I dare you to say that To Flo Face I will I'm gonna listen I gotta handle up On these things F Flo Brown <laughs> Say that to her face She from Bricks yo She from North Jersey And even though She has prayed up for Jesus She will whoop your ass In the name of the Lord I promise you that I remember that <laughs> Let me know When you say it to her So I can get my Medicated popcorn <laughs> And sip on my tea and watch you get your number. I beat hang out with you all, all, day. all the way there. <laughs> you know what? I need you to come in my shop. You gotta hang out with me all day. Good. Listen, <laughs> I want to see it. F Flo Brown, say it to her face. I, I put I, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I put money on that fight. I put money on that fight. I promise you. By the time you wake up and you in the and you in the paramedic, you gonna be like, what, what happened? Flo will run your ass down. She from the bricks, baby. You don't know about Flo? But go ahead. Keep on talking about it. I, I, I just want to see you say it to her face. That's what? all. What? That's all. That's all. You, pro you probably somebody who um she ate up in a fucking uh, battle. Oh my God. She probably oh my God. ate that ass up in a battle. That's why you say an F-Flo Brown because you probably only got two bars in before she cut down on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know what? You know what? It's alright. You can hate. You can hate. Because cause, cause if Flo did that to you, I'd be mad too. I'd be mad if she embarrassed me for filth. So, Jag, how do you feel though when, when, when certain people come at you for stating the facts or stating how you feel? Because again, um, there's been a lot of times that you, because you go through your own private right. situation. I don't talk. Right. See, this is this is what's making people uncomfortable now. I've never talked. I've never talked family business. You've never heard me say anything bad about the roots. Never. While they said bad things about me constantly. She's crazy. She's this, she's that. Don't work with her. She's ungrateful. She's this, she's that. It, it's so funny when people accuse you of being all the things that they are. Well, I don't, I don't understand why people associate real with crazy. I well, just, I, I never got that. You want to know why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For they will not believe the truth. Mm -hmm. I will send them strong delusion and allow them to believe a lie. Mm -hmm. See, when you don't want to face the truth, it becomes uncomfortable to be around anybody that does. Call us, state your name. Where are you calling from? It is uh, C Long. I'm from Philly, but I don't live in Philly no more. I would just say, say um, my mama. I enjoy it. I saw her Jaguar right at uh, perform at uh, Westchester University. Yeah, you know yeah, that was a great show. Back in 2000. Yeah, no, that was a great show. You, you guys were. You guys were on fire that night, and and I hope that you know me and me and my crew we gave y'all what you needed. From what I remembered, it was awesome. We had a great time. Oh yeah, that was it was dope. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I've I've always I I've never forgot that show. That <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Most people didn't like the Roots until that concert. You should have seen us when we was down King's Dominion. You should have seen us down there. I'm gonna call you back, Les. Uh huh. I'm gonna call you back. I'm in the middle. Of Yeah. I was like, okay. So I was like, that was dope. 
Listen to me. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah. yeah and I'm. And I'm glad, yeah, that that was right towards the end of, you know, our whole OK Player run and all of that. And we had, we had finished the tour, and then, you know, we had started. All I can. No, 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 no. You No, you ain't got to rush on this. This is important. See, what you're doing is, is you're declaring history. You're declaring history. You were there. You were there. You remember what it looked like, right? That show was, um, um, it was amazing. It was phenomenal, was it not? Yeah, it was. Tell me something. Has it looked like that on Jimmy Fallon? Does it look like that on Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> does it that, look like that on Jimmy Fallon? Why I said, does it look like it, that on Jimmy Fallon's show? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, Jimmy fuck ass is who he is. Jim, Jim, Jimmy's, Jimmy, let's snort it up. The button. The button is the gone. Button. We just threw it out the window. <laughs> Don't even need the button no more. <laughs> Listen to me. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to make sure that you support every real artist that you admire. Not just me. All of them. There are so many artists who are overshadowed because of the politics. That goes on behind the scenes. And guess what? Every time they move that reel out of the way, they steal that moment from you. Yeah. You, you hear that real moment that you was talking about that we had at your college? Yeah. A lot more yeah, of them could have happened. A lot more of them could have happened. I started to respect the roots. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because I'm from Philly don't mean I got to like you. Just because you're from Philly. But I didn't really have no respect for them until I went to that concert. Just to keep it real. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Thank you for respecting the art. Yeah. Because, see, that's the thing that, that that we really need to be focused on. You know, we, we sit here and we worry about being popular. Yeah, they were Square Roots. Like, they got sued because it was a country group called Square Roots. They right. Name. Right. Yeah, Ray Hani. And, and they, they, they always let Ray Hani get kicked out. Ray Hani, Fifth Dynasty. Shout out to Ray Hani, my nigga. Love you. Just the way you are. I'm sure he, I'm sure Ray Hani has some things to tell you too. Because Ray Hani was never, he, he was never sparse with his words, you know. He just said how he felt. I loved him for that. Ray Hani around, I he around, I don't know where he at. I hope he holler at me while I'm in the city. Last time I seen him was at Rich's um at Rich's memorial service, a un union transfer. That was 2014. Me and Ray Hani was sitting outside. And he was like, yeah, man, it's cool. He was like, man, there's too many fake motherfuckers in there for me. You know, and, and he wasn't lying. I said the same thing. Like when I heard when I heard Jimmy, listen to me, when I heard Jimmy Fallon, all I heard, we sitting in a the theater, bro. The doors was closed. We sitting there, it's a critical moment. The band is about to start. Like, like Rich curated his own funeral. We walked through his entire subconscious that night. And he left messages for all of us, for those who were paying attention. I was paying very close attention. Because for me, see, Rich was my Juilliard. I didn't get to go to Juilliard. I had a scholarship to Juilliard, but I was supposed to become a lawyer. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Well, I, yeah, that part, I, I, I got that. I got that. But, you know. <laughs> But see, right now they be having hell. You know what I mean. So it's like, man, but man, I, <laughs> it just trips me out. But that yeah, that was the last time I seen Rayani. I was like, yo, man. I was like, they got this fuck ass nigga Jimmy Fallon in here, fucking making a fool of himself. I literally had to jump up, and we were in conversation with someone last night, and my husband can confirm. The person, said, yes, I remember when that happened, and he was out there. But you can't be mad at people because they don't want to tell people what's what. I was like, what do you mean I can't be mad at people? The root should have checked his ass, but the check was too important. See, mm. you gonna let somebody disrespect your mentor, and, and practically he was our foster father. You know what I mean? He raised really? us as artists, and that's a very intimate relationship because. He's, he was the person that taught us how to take our life, properly articulate the emotions, put it into structure, and then create art with it. Mm. Yeah, it what's up? 
She just created that yeah, right there. She didn't get a bad rap in the music scene. Like, Cause we just loyal as fuck. Cause we just loyal as fuck. That's why. Cause we just loyal as fuck. Just loyal as fuck. You know, I, I've said it for years in my interviews. Philadelphia is a diamond mine. And if you've ever been in a diamond mine, it's cold, it's dark, it's hard. And you don't even know what you got until you, you know what I'm saying? But see, that, all, of that, all of that pressure creates these beautiful stones. Yeah. And all you got to do is, is, is dig them up and polish them off. That's Philly. See, you got to realize the projects. See, that's that hard earth. Yeah, I forgot Street Projects. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out, you used to hang out at the courts of 10th and Oxford watching Rashid Wallace get it in, getting ready for the NBA. <laughs> I know, if you if you from there, I, if you from there, I know you was around 10th and Oxford. Shout out 100X yet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philadelphia creates greatness. This is, this is Krypton. See? Everybody here? All superheroes. We're all superheroes. So don't nobody give no fuck about no superhero. You know, I, I I would always joke and say, you know, if, if Superman went back to a uh, Krypton, they ain't gonna call that nigga Superman. They gonna call him Kal-El. His name Kal-El. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, a, right? it's the same with us. When right. we come back to Philly, I don't know about no Jaguar. I know her as Jay. I don't know about. I don't know about no. I know Carl. You know what I mean? Like that's what Philly do. It, it, it's it, for whatever reason. It's almost as if we're afraid to big each other up. Like we're afraid to give each other the props that we deserve. I just, I don't know. It's just that. I don't know. It just seems like we don't like each other, not less money involved. Exactly. It's a lot deeper than that, man. It goes deeper. We can't, listen to me. Actually, it's to a point now where you got money, they don't like you more. Because we, we lost the one because of money he was making. Pop Smoke. Yeah. Oh, rest in peace to that young brother. Yeah. And then he didn't get a chance to, for, you know, fortify his career. Yeah. Now, people have a problem with counting what doesn't belong to them. There it is. There it is. We, 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 we got we to gotta take this next call. Thank get you your so hand out my pocket, nigga. All right. <laughs> What's good? Call the station name and where you're calling from. Is this Ellie Square Grooves or Smooth? <laughs> That's Dutch cousin. No, it's Ron Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> we we got Jag live in studio. Uh, what's up, Jag? What's going on? I guess so. <laughs> they tell me I broke the internet. It needed fixing. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people got stories to tell. I'm telling mine so they can stop being afraid of telling this. Mm. I'm trying to start a trend here. Let's get honest. <laughs> you know she's oh. saying starting stuff. Wow. So I think Lee, that's a new podcast to come come along. Jaguar so is right. Let's get out. Jaguar has um, hmm. produced for us a a photo of a now Grammy you know that right. <laughs> Malibu won almost twenty years ago and never received. Oh wow! Did you know about that? And if you didn't, how do you feel about that knowing it now? Um. Oh, very much so. He walking these streets right now. Yeah. Malik came to me in a dream and told me he was going to settle it all from paradise. That's what Malik told me in a dream. Mm -hmm. I said, bro, I said, bro, they ain't do right by you. They ain't do right by you. He said, don't worry, I'm going to handle it all from paradise. Lee, how was your relationship with Malik? I have a couple songs that he's that I produced that he's rapped on that I still have 
back in the archives. Um, it's one with uh, all of us and, and she Wallace, and then it's another one with uh, mm-hmm. the late great uh, Air Smooth on it. Yeah. So, so um, my relationship with him was was great. Like we we always had a good relationship whenever he seen me. You know, nothing but love and and, and vice versa. He was a good soul. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, Swaggy. Who does Swaggy see person? Do yourself a favor. Feel free to unfollow me. I got plenty of other people that want to. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I want you to think about what you're saying. I'm losing my mind. I want you to think about what that means when you say I'm losing my mind. Because what you're acknowledging is, is that I am not of sound mind. So if I see you, Swaggy C, and I'm losing my mind. And by the way, I am documented. They got paperwork on me to say I do that from time to time. You know, rape and murder will make you a little crazy from time to time. You just think about what you're saying. You are you are acknowledging that you think I'm going crazy. So if I should see you, right, and I lose my mind. <laughs> How much time you think I'm going to spend in jail for, bitch? I want you to think about what you're saying. Because I'm promising you, whatever you're asking for, this ain't what you want. I got a dead child in six months I spent in jail, losing a quarter million fucking dollars over nothing. You want it, bitch? You ain't got to say F. Flo Brown. Say it to my face. I'll fuck her. I will fuck you up for her. You know, because I be losing my mind. I don't know who that is, but you better stop. <laughs> right? I be losing my mind, right? I'm losing my mind. I'm going crazy right now. Where you at? So I can share some of this crazy with you. I don't know who this is, but uh, Swaggy, you better chill. <laughs> Y'all better be careful what you ask for. You know what they say. You know what they say. Is I mad? Is I mad? The only thing I'm mad at is that you still on here trying to swagger Jack. What you got, like like 40 followers? You need some traffic. Jag makes so much traffic. You need some traffic. You want to borrow some of my traffic. See if you can find somebody that want to follow your ass. You want to follow some traffic. But I'll be in South Philly in them streets tonight if you want to see how crazy I get. Jag. Jag. Say that again, We ain't lose contact. Lee, I had a nervous breakdown. I couldn't talk to nobody. I'm in the city. I'm in the city. I'm back. I'm up. I'll make sure, has, I'm, I'll make sure Jack has your number. Present. Lee got my number, don't you, Lee? Not this, not this new one, Jack. You don't? Not the new one. Damn. I'll get this well, one. Lee, you know I'm, I'm putting out another project. This is Dutch. I'm putting out another project, and I have to have... Uh, Malik on it, and it's called Numbers I Can Deal With. It's, it's, it's serious, so I think that me, Jag, and, and Malik should go ahead and, and yeah, and do that. Bless these people with some purity. I mean, right now we gotta get we gotta get the t-shirts together. We gotta get these t-shirts together though, because I'm trying to put out these three t-shirts. You need some money we need to figure that out yeah. because I want to get the money to his mother so she can get the lawyer. Yeah, that's on numbers I can deal with as well. So, so yeah, that's that's cool. definitely right. um okay, I'll make sure that everybody has I'm not gonna waste my energy on no idiot, not but I I'm I'm not I'm not gonna back down. All right. You know come on Bosch Smith. Hot huh? what happened? You know come on, Bosch Smith. Yeah. Yeah, he makes shirts. Well then we need I need to see him before I leave. All right. Cause I need these three T shirts done. Um we're trying to do three T shirts with Malik's image on it. The one we wanna do is I am with his picture in the middle and put Malik B and at the bottom put Google me. We need people. We need people Googling his name as often as possible. Because once the search engines get to running, you know, people start asking questions. I'm tired of having to tell people who Malik B is. Why don't nobody know who Malik? They know who uh, Tariq is. If something happened to Tariq or Amir, oh my God. Oh, my God. they be all crazy about it, right? No, I'm with, I'm with Jag right now. They be all crazy about it. But don't nobody, why, why do I got to tell MCs how hot Malik B is?